What's going on, YouTube folks out there? Facebook friends, my name is Ademir, and this is the Hard Black Truth. I know you hear the crickets, but let's move on. Uh, we had a young man out there in Texas. I want to say it's Texas. Please, I might be getting it wrong, but he's out there cutting grass. Now, you're out there in the hot sun, you know, earning a living, uh, a, a safe, legitimate one. I, I, I don't care whether the man had his papers or not personally if you're out there cutting the grass and you're getting paid for it and you're not using illegal or stolen stuff you know then that's you you're making that money should nobody be getting upset with you you understand what i'm saying and i understand that police officers may at times be used to enforce uh having a shut down a quote-unquote illegitimate business but this wasn't one of those cases this was plain and, and, and shut a case where a police officer saw a black man out there in a neighborhood where he doesn't normally tend to see black men in large numbers. You know, it might have been a crew of uh, two or three out there cutting grass and stuff, and that was enough for him. You know, they got black men going from door to door, handing out business cards. Lord, we can't have that. That's just changing the atmosphere uh, of this neighborhood already. We can't have that. So let me let me question them. Let me see what they got going on here. Let me see if I can scare them off. And, and that's what you saw play out in that video. That's truly what I believe we saw play out in that video, at least the initial part of the video. Then it came by, they showed a second part of the video where apparently the guy, he's at home and a police officer is asking him to come out and they close the door and, you know, you, you see pictures posted later on that day of somebody's arm. And, you know, it, it's, it's a shame all the way around that we still have to deal with this in the United States of America. It's 2017, and being a black man in a white neighborhood, I'm assuming, you know, will will cause this to happen. It most certainly will. And black men, on a side note, we are at war, and they are trying to make it to where police officers have to ask for identification. And believe me, they're going to use these powers against minorities. And if you're black, you're number one on the list. I'm just saying. So we got to be prepared to say, hey, whether we like it or not, we're going to have to be prepared to say, OK, here's my ID and pull it out slowly. OK, pull it out slowly. I'm just saying. Um, but getting back to it, in this case, this is, wasn't one of those situations. So the young man complied as, as best as he could, uh, according to what he had to. And you, that's what you saw in that video. OK. And, and, and why, for what reason? What reason did the police officer have to put that man in handcuffs in the first place? What in that video transpired that caused the, the police officer to have to put that man in handcuffs? Absolutely nothing. But it's a black man and, and he's he's raising his voice and, 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 and he's talking back to me. So so let me show him what life is. Let me show him exactly where he stays. Let me introduce him to the United States of America, because apparently he doesn't realize he's out here cutting grass with his with his business cards out here. He probably isn't even licensed. Let me show him what the American dream really is and where he stands in all of this. That's what that police officer was trying to do. That's what that police officer was trying to do. And that's what we saw play out. And the young man was was adamant and, and knew the law. And he even he even said it. I have you on video. We are going to go to court. He even thanked that police officer. And again, I say police officer, but we got stories that got this all muddied up. We don't even know if this was a real police officer. Now, I still have to wait for more information to come out on, in, in that regard. But what we do know is that there was a press conference held with, I believe, the chief of police or a spokesperson, white man. OK, and, and, and behind them, none other than than several. I mean, they, they got they had like seven or eight black police officers just walled up behind him while he sat there and, and preached adamantly about 
believing in diversity and working hard towards it and taking these accusations seriously and just, I mean, just, just put down that young man and, you know, it told him he had a warrant out for his arrest and this is what's going on. A police officer ain't doing nothing right. And this man been evading the law and we charged, yo, he laid down, he laid down the charges like he meant it. In that press conference, or we charge him with evading arrest or all, all of that. And the way they came out and said it was so convincing that Negroes like Philip, Phil, as you all call him, the host of the advice show. Sorry, Phil. I like your show and all, but sorry, Phil. Don't necessarily tend to have original ideas. Remember that white on white crime series? Shout out to the Black Channel, by the way. There goes Phil that has to use other people's ideas often enough. You know, he, he even came out and said it, you know, he, he you know, I didn't speak out on this. He, he didn't speak out on it soon enough because he wanted to wait for more information to come out. So when the white man comes and tells you, you know, that that they investigated the situation and the young man has warrants out for his arrest. So they charge him with all those things. And that's that, you know, that was good enough for you, Phil. <laughs> he even he even went about trying to uh, make up in his mind, uh, uh, you know, Oh, reasonable thoughts on why the police officer uh, uh, would be able to pull this this black man over and question him up like that. You know why it would be a reasonable thing to do. You know, but we we don't we don't see a lot of black people cutting grass and stuff. We don't see we see a lot of Mexicans doing. E, e, even the white people that live in in those neighborhoods and own everything, they hire Mexicans to do that. So when you see black people, you know that's not something you see every day. You know, they, that's nothing you see every day. So the police, they pull you over. I mean, a man, literally. So so we're supposed to. So what is, what is the message that you want to send now, Mr. Phil? Uh, are you wanting to say that, yeah, we're going to build our own businesses and, and have these lawn services, but expect to get pulled over a lot and just be prepared for it? I guess that's the message. Be be Find this acceptable to, to be pulled over because you're black and be harassed just because you're black because you cutting grass and doing what everyone else gets to do uh, uh, somehow warrants uh, uh, police officers coming after you. I mean, he heard the young man had warrants and that's all he needed to hear. He didn't want to hear anything else. <laughs> Mr. I'm going to wait for all the uh, it, more information to come out. He heard warrants and that was enough information. I'm glad this young man has people out there uh, that that one lawyer. Oh, man, I forget his name. And uh, I think, as a matter of fact, he covered the story about those people out there in uh, Fort Worth, Texas. And on on a side note, on a side note, shout out to those officers out there. I I, I don't miss a chance to say shout out to those officers because they risked their li livelihoods. They were demoted, okay, for for going against the system. And, and understand this, police officers, you know, white, black, Hispanic, whatever, you know, you might mean well when you go in. <laughs> You might mean to do well every day of your job and you might sincerely try, but understand that you work for a construct that was put in place long before you were here. You understand what I'm saying? And this construct came from a, a, a policing of Negro slaves. And that's really what we see taking place today. <laughs> like it or not, that's what we see taking place today. So when you show me a, 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 a white spokesperson with a wall full of black people, as you sit here and, 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 and you know, banter on uh, self-righteously as how this young man was evading the police and he had outstanding warrants for his arrest and he should he's just a criminal thug and all this. Like this man, like they, they had no mercy on how they have now decided to treat this young man. Straight up. And that's all he heard was warrants, and that was enough. You know, ha had people like myself halfway tempted to, 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 to leave it at that. I'm sitting here thinking to myself, you know, the, the video that we saw, you might want to sit here and, and write this young man off as being deceitful, but the video you saw and the action that you saw play out, that's not, that's not the standpoint of, of a young man who knows he has warrants out for his arrest. But again, you know, White supremacy tends to have people shook out there. I'm just going to say it like that. 
white supremacy tend to have people shook out there. You understand what I'm saying? And, and you know, folks in intelligent black society have to be able to to see what the arm of white supremacy tells us. And, 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 and regardless of how damning it may seem, take that information and go back and analyze it. Go back and comb through it. Mr. Phil, who didn't want to make the video initially because he wanted to wait until enough information came out, even stated in that video that he didn't know what the warrants was about. But to him, it didn't matter. It did not warrant him waiting a little bit longer. You have a situation, a, a, a whole story that is just crap. We don't know why the young man was pulled over and questioned for, we, we don't know. They're trying to, to imply or make it seem as though the officer knew about these quote unquote warrants, but he wouldn't have. And I am glad that we have a lawyer again <clears throat> that is out there uh, 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 paying attention for these young men and pointing it out that regardless of what you want to say, it's no reason why we saw that interaction take place in that video. There is no legitimate reason for that. And there is no, you still got to find a legitimate reason for why they showed up at his doorstep like that. And you still got to find a legitimate reason to point out why he's, why he has those bruises that he suffered. You have a young man who is, is acting out as a, as a young man who is trying to do right and sees himself being harassed by a racist white supremacist police officer or agency or whatever the heck they are. <clears throat> and the media, uh, uh, while again, while the media is, is muddying up the waters with their own lack of knowledge on the status of this quote unquote police officer. Uh, you you have somebody speaking out, you know, for police officers, but we still can't get the story straight on whether or not the police officer in question was actually a police officer. You know, they got that crap all muddied up. And at the same time, they're immediately taking the side of the police officers now, because, of course, a white man came out. And said, you know, this young black man has warrants. And he said it with a wall full of black people standing behind him. So that's that. That's that. As far, I'm telling you now, as far as uh, uh, the dominant and broader white uh, society is, they they feel as though they have enough information. Uh, this case is closed in their mind. They're, they've, they've tuned out. And they're just, you know, waiting to hear a footnote on how uh, the young man was sentenced and is serving time for whatever he did. Seriously, that's going on. That's what's going on with them. Um, because of people like Phil, you have those who follow him blindly and aren't able to think for themselves. Uh, uh, they have tuned out and they're out there now following this this foolish and ridiculous rhetoric that you know it, it, it might have been justifiable for that police officer to just pull the young man over to just sit here and question him you know that that's legitimate now that's okay because you know even even you know, the black man cutting the grass we don't see that all the time you know you, you normally see you normally see the mexican yeah anyway uh to those brothers out there you know, I, I, I hope that justice is served in your favor. Uh, I hope that we can get, you know, some official words on this on this entire situation, something that that just lays out the facts. And I hope to be seeing that soon. Uh, shout out to all you folks out there who, who have uh, followed this channel, subscribed. Uh, I hope you tune in for more. Please feel free to like this. Um, you know, share this, definitely encourage others to, to see this. And, and, you know, as far as the advice show, I doubt that he'll see this at all, but Phil, come on, dude, you really played yourself. Um, you have exposed yourself to a certain degree, uh, that, that shows that, you know, when, when it's time to fight, we might not be able to count on you 100% because you, 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 you blow with the wind. Okay. 
and, and I feel saddened that you you chose to immediately hop on the information that they gave you. And I'm just going to say it like that. Um, Lunya one here. Peace.